I am sprinkling baby powder inside the mold here. And the baby powder acts as a mold release, so uh, when you pour the resin in, it just helps the resin pop out a little bit easier. Um, I've seen people use a spray mold release. I prefer the baby powder. It's uh, safer, non-toxic, uh, works really well. I don't have to worry about washing it off when the resin pops out of the mold. Basically, I could pop it out of the mold and go straight to painting. Basically what I do is I sprinkle a little bit in, take a nice soft brush, brush it around, get all the detail, take the mold outside, blow it out really well, trying to get all the little bits of baby powder out of any of the detail that might be stuck. Um, and that's it, then pour the resin. The baby powder also kind of helps to protect the surface of the mold. Whenever you pour resin into a mold, uh, the, it, it heats up, so this heating process eventually over time starts to break down the surface of the mold. Basically the baby powder is kind of acting as a, a, a little barrier um, just to help protect it. I've read that a, a normal silicone mold you can generally get about 30 resins out of it before it starts to break down. I found out that if I use the baby powder and take really good care of my molds, let them cool down before I pour the next one, a lot of times I could get sometimes up to 60 before the uh, silicone starts to crack and tear around the edges.